Did I fall asleep with that makeup on? No, I actually never sleep with makeup. Um, I just woke up with it. Unfortunately. Thing is, I, I wake up sometimes with this. I have this thing where sometimes this happens to me. Am I, am I gonna be level 11 now, finally? What am I doing? <laughs> Alert? Oh shit. Uh, Taylor, for the five euro donation, thank you. Oh, it's that day of the year again. <laughs> hey, Annie, are you today's date? Because you're a 10 out of 10. <laughs> oh. Of course. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. It's that time of the year again. That's the only time you're allowed to be that cringe. I am level 11. Wait, so how do you get- how do you get a chance to get the staff? I thought level 11 was enough. Does anyone know? I have not unlocked anything that gives a staff. From the pouch? But it's the same pouch as always. Oh, that pouch is different! Oh! Interesting. Yeah. They look the same, but they're different. This one has a chance to get the, the Kraken fishing rod. Okay. Do you know how big the chance is? What is this? I'm on level 20 in the main- in the base game. Is this like a person island? It's like a little room that you unlock, basically. It's not- it's not a- special place. It's in one of the cities. Uh, you unlock it in the main story quest. You just keep playing and you'll find it. Probably like a solid 0 0.5. Probably. Probably. Oh, the pouch is not even guaranteed, of course. So it's RNG and RNG. Jesus Christ. Okay. Yeah, that's gonna be... It's gonna be a bit of a struggle then. Um, let's see, what did I want to do? Oh, I look cool. Um... Let's see, I wanted to double check, uh, traits for the bow. I don't have any more of them, okay. I have a golem impaler longbow. First, okay, different. And that's all the bows I have. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, well, I think it's time for another Tyrant's Isle because surely this time I'll get it. Uh, if you want to join, feel free to sign up. If you don't have the, um, if you don't have the combat power, just whisper me and I will invite you anyways. I'm just putting it high for pugs. Um There we go. Mm -mm 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 high? Yeah, I mean it's it's not that high to be fair, but it's a little bit higher than just dinged fifty. <laughs> no mechs have brain, no shitter. I think that's a good description, yeah. I think that is a good description. You die, you get kicked. Can join us healer, not 2k though? That's okay. Um, in that case, just whisper me. And I'll invite you. How is no one signing up? Is there no one? Oh, there we go. Uh, oh, from the, from the guild. Nice. 
Healer barely know her. Okay. CP 1.7k. You want to join, Kraylith? What role do you play? Dex says me. Okay. So we have Kulnaris, we have Lopish, we have tank and healer. We just need DPS now. I can come with my DPS 2.7? Jesus. On Scorpos? What is Scorpos? Is that a server? East server? Oh, like NA East? I don't know if I can- I don't think I can play with NA people. Do you have a guild in the game? Yeah, I do. Can I co-op dungeons with someone who's on NA? We have a guild, yes. It's called Offline Chat. There's nothing wrong with NA people. Yeah, I don't think it's cross-region. I think it is cross-server if you do these kind of groups, but I don't think it's cross-region. I might be wrong, but I don't think so. Yeah, cross-region would be crazy because um, how do you determine like what ping and stuff people should have, you know what I mean? people are in the group now? I can't see. Can you guys see how many people we are? Oh, you have a tough Four. Uh, Tots Pup, were you in the guild? I don't remember. Wow, good. Yeah, Lopish will heal. So that's okay. And then we invite Tutput. So we're actually a full group right now. I just need to know if he was on our server or if I need to keep this group up until he signs. Yeah, just waiting for tough putt. A blue screen, so probably take someone else unless you want to wait five minutes. Okay, we can take you for the next one then. And I'll take a random person here. And then invite Lopish. Let's go for this guy. And good luck with your blue screen. I think um, the invite may not have worked. It should work now. Bored Diablo 4 already? No, I'm loving Diablo 4. I'm just also really enjoying this. And uh, I think how I did it yesterday was nice. I do some like grindy stuff, get stuff going here. And then I switch to Diablo for like a nice movie experience basically with the new campaign. Uh, but my eye is in pain today. So today I'm actually not sure if I'm going to be doing any Diablo. But yeah, I really enjoyed the campaign. It's really good. Something new in the game? They did have a five hour maintenance this morning. Uh, nothing I've noticed so far. I'm glad they had the maintenance early in that case and not until 3.30. Like the last couple times. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, I think I wanted to take this malevolent staff because I think that's what I'm using, right? Oh no, but it was a different trait, so it doesn't really help me. I don't think it was buff duration or heavy attack chance. I think that's why I didn't. Yeah, it's a different trait, so it doesn't help me. What legs am I using? 
dusk blood. Magic endurance, ranged endurance. I think I had max health actually, didn't I? Yes, I do have max health. Okay, I'm gonna need on this one. Wait, not Lopish. I am not Lopish, as far as I know. Uh, for these things, um, well, apparently I got it. Um, I don't really know what to do with them. Maybe just send it back to each person that got it. Because it's not something that people specifically are gonna need on. Dexa. I think I'll just give it to Dexa. How do you like unmark everyone else? Thought she was doing dungeon. Oh, I am. I'm just. Uh... Oh, yeah, everyone's ready. Okay, let's go. Yes, it's time for dungeon. Just getting a bit distracted doing things. Downtime. Got some ornate coins. Nice. Guild application. Is he from the stream? What the heck? Show feet on stream. Okay, nice. Um, alright. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, there we go. The feet people? Yeah, I know, right? It's like, oh no. People need to go to church. <laughs> There's been a bit of like random lag sometimes. It's kind of weird. It's funny how like certain messages that that you get, you only get because you're you're a woman, right? Is there anything that? guys get as messages from random people. I'm trying to think, like, what, what would a guy... Maybe, like, you suck or something. I don't know. Show balls on stream? Yeah? Do you think they get those kind of messages? Racist ones? Can't you down? Bold comments get good. Guys, I just noticed this. Rescue the kidnapped sailor. Collect gatherable item. I'm pretty sure I've done this quest before. Are they repeated? Like, are they repeatables? Matasha shows his belly when they ask. When they ask what? What do they ask that makes him show his belly? Are we assuming the foot comment was from a bloke? It's 50-50. Oh, you think like maybe a girl sent that to me? Damn. Imagine. A girl asked me for feet. Oh, to show belly. Wait, he get he gets asked to show belly?
we go. Ain't no way that's 50 50. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so either. Uh, I wanted to change uh, my. this. Also, I wanted to. Or is Magic One better? I don't remember. I should also level them up. Dungeon tokens only from daily refresh, no other ways. Uh, what's a dungeon token? Our damage is so high, what the heck? We're almost killing him before the... Before the first sweep, what the heck? Oh my god, what? I've never killed him before the first sweep, that's crazy. Nice. Hey everyone, what's up, Jigglypuff? Is everyone's staff squishy in dungeons? You don't really notice it because you shouldn't really get hit by anything. Like, normally you have a tank, so... It's fine. And Bo does give you a, a tiny bit of self-heals if you'd need any. In my current spec, I don't have it, but you can do. I do have it in my farming spec, in my, like, um, open world spec. Then I do have some. If you have, like, if you become orange, you need to go and hide behind the pillar. Yeah, so not like that. You want to be like, you want to have a pillar between you and there we go. Perfect. So you stand behind the pillar so that when he charges you, he gets hit by the pillar. Oh, that was me. I didn't see him. Wait, how did I die though? What the heck? <laughs> No, I'm on this side. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh. You stand in front of pillar too? Really? I thought it's behind pillar. My eye is hurting. Stamina. Don't go around, just wait for them to go out and in. 
thank you so much. What do you mean? Believe me, Tim, go out of the dungeon. Go out of the dungeon? Wait, the why would I go out to the dungeon? The respawn point changes. Oh, now, yeah, now they have a new respawn. Why doesn't it work to... That's so weird. Oh, uh, yeah, I'll just die. They got a new respawn point now. Kill me faster. There we go. Am I gonna make it? Am I gonna make it? Am I gonna make it? Oh! Just barely. Okay, they activated a new one. You were playing the D4 expansion? I, I played a bunch yesterday and I played a bunch the day before that too. I would play today as well, but I think I'm actually taking a break and a bit of a shorter stream um, in order to um, rest my eye. My eye is in pain. So today I'm probably skipping Diablo. But I've been really enjoying the new expansion. I'm playing the... Uh, the MSQ. I played, um, I think I played like three or four hours yesterday. And the day before that, I, I played like six hours. What happened to your eye? I don't know. I just woke up with pain. I'm not sure exactly what it is. Um, yeah, my left eye. It's weird. Uh, Lillabon, thank you very much for the Prime. Thank you, thank you. Have I tried removing my eye? No, I have not tried that. Do you think that would work? I'm gonna try the new evade spirit bomb build. Or oh, do I change it to even more evade? I feel like my build is already evade. My Stinger does zero damage. All right, it's time. A snack, just as I was getting hungry. Let's see how long you can survive. I think we can still do it. Lopish, have you done this dungeon before? Do you do you know what the mechanic is?
Yeah, the, the numb binds are mouse binds, indeed. I need to double check what the guide says if I should be using my defense ability from uh, staff or from bow. Both pugs have died. It's actually really difficult to pug. I'm having a lot of fun in it. Thank you so much for the resub. 22 months. Thank you, thank you. Ouch, I pressed the wrong button. What? How's that a one shot? It's in the middle of rolling. Maybe best to reset. Yeah, it's too much now. A lot of mechanics of Pug Hitters try Cave of Destruction. Is that a different dungeon? Cave of Destruction? Does Lopish understand the mechanics or does he need explanation? I didn't see if he responded. Templar Slaughter is worse. Oh, really? Looking for a good MMO mouse. What are you using? I'm using the Coarse Air Scimitar Elite. This is the mouse I'm using. It's from Coarse Air. And you got the 12 buttons on the side. We actually have a link for it because I'm sponsored by Coarse Air. Exclamation mark Coarse Air. To check it out. Uh, I think Prime Day is over, isn't it? I think Prime had a bunch of uh, discounts and stuff yesterday. Paid chatter. Here, Chorus Air. This is my link if you want to check out Corsair products. Um, I was using this mouse before it was sponsored. Just so you know. Before I was sponsored. Because it's a great mouse. Uh, but I'm very happy to be sponsored for it too. Let's see how long you can survive. Let's see how long you can survive. <laughs> Lopish is going for the wrong one, but it's okay. I'll adapt. Or maybe he was right. I'm not sure. But I can adapt, so it's okay. from that. It should be fine. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
that's fine. Lost two people, but he's almost dead, so... Well, I'm not using my form, I should use it now. Yeah, this is really good DPS. Really good damage group. I got bracers for the first time. What is what is the bracers? Dexterity, mana region, range, range evasion. Hmm. I think it's maybe okay. Okay, uh, let's ask party more. Let's see if people up for it. Is it possible 5k lucent in just 10 hours? To earn 5k lucent? Oh, I'm not sure. I'm not really a lucent farmer. Okay, the two pugs left. Uh, Tutpup, were you around now? Those are your best brace according to Max Roll. Wait, really? Oh, I can't concentrate. My eye is so painful. It's getting teary again. here oh yeah I see it yeah they are indeed picked here I see that wait that's awesome I actually got something which is good for me Yeah, I've been, I've been using eye drops uh, since it happened. I slacked on it before. I need to use it like preemptively as well. And I wanna, where, where are my current bracers from? Is that the uh, Twitch Drops one? Okay. Uh, yeah, let's make a group. I don't have a- wait, I don't?
Oh yeah, because I was in the middle of transferring. Because I got a new belt. There we go. Cut blast, I see you. What eye drops do you use? I forgot what they're called, but they're meant to be for dry eyes, basically. Oh, you 1.9K? Okay, we could edit them. Let's refresh. Um, we have healer and tank, right? So we just need DPS. I think. The doctor might ask what? Oh, for my dyed hair? My, my dyed hair doesn't really bleed, honestly. How could we join a guild? Just let us know that you want to join and tell us your name in the title. Do -do -do, do -do -do -do. I thought it because it's red. It's a very dark red. It doesn't really bleed. It only bleeds uh, like in water a little bit, but even then not a lot. You a PvP guild or PvE? Uh, just PvE. I didn't realize the bracers in this dungeon is also good for me. That means there's multiple good items from this dungeon and I always kept- I always kept getting the trash boots. I think I got like three boots from this dungeon. The one item I don't need. Is he hiding or did he die? Yeah. Nice. Like your shame, do you plan to play Throne of Liberty on a regular basis or you still figure out whether you like the game? Right now I'm playing it a lot because uh, I'm learning things a lot and uh, progressing things, etc. Um, if I play something long term, it doesn't mean that I'll always play it. I am mostly a variety streamer at this point. But I do come back to games every time there's like new things going on. Uh, like World of Warcraft, for example, it's one of my main games. But I don't play it all the time on stream. Um, because for stream purposes, I like to keep things relatively fresh. So yeah, I mean, if, if it's something I'm going to be playing long term, then you can expect me to always come back whenever there's like new things or updates or, you know, things like that. For now, I'm playing a lot because everything is new to me. <laughs> Everything is new to me, so now I'm just playing everything. And that's kind of like how I treat new games, basically. For stream purposes. Mm. 
Okay, my eye feels better now. In the, for a moment, and then it's gonna get worse again, of course. Standard. Ox, thank you so much for the prime 11 month resub and Raketen Paula. I'm not sure if it's meant to be like a Swedish pronunciation, uh, but thank you very much for subbing. me at least I guess but god damn it it's German okay okay got you does it mean rocket in German this game free yeah this game is free to play Dude, that's such a cozy game for me I just like going around and do stuff I don't really stress about progression at all yeah I think that's fair I think that is uh, how a, a, a good way to enjoy MMOs in general. Okay. Yes, but it's just a nonsense name. Okay, fair enough. Talk a little bit about Ornic coins. So I wanted to maybe give a quick summary. Let me do it after this boss real quick. Or maybe I should do it when I'm not in a dungeon. So I can like open the menu and stuff. I think or I saw one. Now it's happening. They crush you. Now it's happening. Now oh, he's charging into people. The last cage up there. Oh, we got it. Nice. Okay. We got it. The geyser is about to erupt. The geysers. Okay, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Nice. 
Awesome. Okay, let's go. And another one of those here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That was just on time. Never been this efficient. Awesome. Am I still on offer on Amazon today in the UK? Oh, it is? Awesome. Well, there you go. At the end of the day, I want you guys to get the best prices, you know? You don't have to buy it using my link. Just, uh... Clicking my link and then buying on Amazon? That's fair enough. <laughs> that's good. Well, feel free to check out Amazon then, if you guys are interested in the Corsair Scimitar. Apparently it might be on offer there. I think I'll go for this one. From where this fly mog? Uh, from the ultimate package of the game. From the ultimate Packard. One, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. Okay, awesome. A snack, just as I was getting hungry. Now, let's see how long you can survive. Oh, it increases my movement speed? I don't know. Speed by 40% for all skills and movement speed. I wonder if you should use it once everything is already on cooldown. In that case. Like maybe you should pop it when everything is already on cooldown. I need to read about how to play the spec to be honest. I'm kind of just pressing random buttons right now. It might- it sounds like it might be better to pop it when everything is on TV. can be in a party you can be six people in the party six people Boss is actually dying so fast. We have so good damage. Nice. Staff. 
that is not a staff. Wait, I got... Wait, I got my blue bracelet. Bracelet. Like, my current blue bracelet. That's interesting. Okay, well, that's good. That means I can uh, add trait. Uh, okay. You guys up for one more? Expect almost full damage boost and give it to you. Ah, awesome. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. All right. I am. Um, there we go. Uh, I'll ask more. If you aren't a simply leave party, then I'll start a new one. Um, dimensional circle, instant annihilation. There we go. And then we can go for a new one. I can't believe I met another human being on this island. Did you get swept up in the tornado too? Did you get swept I'm up too? I'm the captain of a trading ship. A sudden tornado wrecked my ship and left me adrift. Why we were overhauling the ship, the reptilians abducted my entire crew. I beg you, please I beg rescue you. them. Finding all my epic one from the cave of destruction. Oh my god, nice. Congratulations. Oh yeah, since I got the exact same bracelet as I have, I can, um, let me quickly showcase adding a trait to your item. So if we go to the trait menu here, um, this is my current bracelet, so you can see because it says E for equipped. And then here, you can see my other new bracers when you click the trait list, um, how do I, how do I word this best? Um, When you click the second row of traits to unlock a new one, you can see the new bracelet right here with the other trait. So mine has sleep resistance and then this one has max health. If I click on the first, uh, it's unrelated, it doesn't matter, okay. So I click this one, max health, it's a 100% enchant trait chance because it's blue to blue, it's always going to be 100%. And then you click unlock trait. In that process, the new bracelets are now destroyed, and my old bracers now have two traits instead of one. And uh, for the first one, or... Uh, yeah, I guess there's no point talking about upgrading traits because I don't actually have an example for it. Yeah, I think that's it. Just like a tiny like showcase of how to upgrade... Um, tiny showcase of how to upgrade your... No, not upgrade. Did I say upgrade at the beginning? Canon! Oh my god, hi! I watched your videos. <laughs> um, not upgrade, to add a trait. I might have said upgrade at the beginning. I need to re-say re the words there. What I should have said, in hindsight, can edit it at the beginning if I said the wrong thing, is um, I can show you guys how to add a trait to your bracelet. Yes. Yes. I can show how to add a I can show how to add a trait to your bracelets. Yeah, hopefully that works. If not, I'll just do it again. If somebody could link that timestamp or whatever to Dig a Dino, I'm sure he can magic it together for like a little shorts. If not, I'll just re-record it. Yeah, what's up, Canon? You're not streaming today, I guess, because I think you're always streaming the same time as me. Typically. How are you enjoying the game? I'm enjoying it a lot. I'm like learning a lot of stuff and uh, 
discovering things and uh, I have so many questions and slowly things are getting answered. It's been fun. Taking much of your day off? Yeah, understandable. I'm, I'm probably gonna have just a short stream today myself because um, my left eye is killing me and I think I need some time off the monitors. Because I've also been grinding. <laughs> if you could teach Amy how to take a day off, that would be great. Chat, that's not what you're supposed to say. You're supposed to ask, hey, could you teach Annie all, all the things to do with Throne of Liberty? That would be the right thing to ask. <laughs> so I'm playing this game um, yesterday. Not gonna lie, I'm winging it. No clue what I'm doing. Honestly, I think MMOs in general, it is totally fine to just wing it when you're just getting started. Like during the leveling process, going through the main story quest, just winging it is totally fine. And then once you get to the point where it starts mattering, that's when you can think about it. Can't be grinding the stream like crazy. Oh no, I should have snoozed those ads. Sorry for the people who are getting ads now. Badly time. Heard to DM me, happy to help. Reach out to you back in there. I think for D4 you got a clip. Wait, really? <gasps> I don't remember. Such a small world sometimes. But yeah, I'd love to. I was actually considering um, reaching out to some like people who know the game well uh, to ask questions. So yeah, that's awesome. I'll make sure to reach out. I'll find you. Oh, oh there was one thing which I, I was getting mixed messages on. Maybe you can tell us now. When you upgrade from like green to blue or blue to epic, some people some people are saying that you should level the destination item a little bit before you level the like before you do the transfer but some people are saying that's not true that's just how it used to be in korea but it's no longer like that so if my question makes sense which one is it <laughs> Because, for example, I was, say I was saying, like, you should level your green to six and then feed it into the blue. But then some people say, no, 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 no. Level the blue first to blah, 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 and then feed the green into it. But then some people then respond to that and are like, no, 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 no that's just how it used to be in Korea. It's no longer like that. Yeah, it's a lot of um, information that can be a bit confusing sometimes. I did it that way the other night and it worked for me. Which way? There they are. Get him. <laughs> Way too early and then yeah, luckily I have enough health. What do I? Okay. It was 7.3 then previous fully leveled or something. Yeah, and have they have they changed it then? It doesn't matter anymore or so they nerfed that method. Okay, it used to get you to max from 6 to 9%, but now it's 7 to 9%. It doesn't matter anyway. I'm just smash whenever. Used to be from 6 to 9, but now it's 7 to 9. Wait, so it is still relevant if you are trying to like perfectly min max? Every time I'm waiting for plus 7, I end up spending more on the plus 9 because of RNG. How do you end up spending crew? more? Thank you so much. It was hard to tell if it was better because every time we tested it, it wasn't. RNG just kind of took over. 
So there's RNG. Like, I, I thought when you transfer to an upgrade, like, if you go from green to blue or blue to epic, I thought it's just one to one XP transferred. It's There's RNG in that? Standing a bit too close to him. Okay, nice. I just want one with compares would be plus dining a blue and sevening a purple versus just dining a purple. Use a stone energy. How much is for you? Something costs more to get from five six because of the blue stone energy. Okay, yeah, I understand that. I'm just, I, I guess I'm. Hmm. Yeah, maybe I need to do a little bit of reading to understand it properly. I'm, I'm confused because I thought like, if you're putting a blue in a purple, it's gonna give, let's say, like, uh, eight thousand XP. Let's say. Just made up number. And whether that takes you from like zero to three the or like four to six or whatever, corrupt. it's gonna be the same amount of XP gain, I thought. But maybe it's not the same XP gain. Is it number of levels regardless of the XP needed for that level? Are there healers and tanks in this game as well? Um, kind of, yeah. If you play sword, basically sword and shield, then that is uh, the um, the main weapon that's used for tanking, because that's the weapon that gives you an actual shield. Need one more. Okay, nice. Um, and then for healing, the main weapon that gives you healing abilities is wand. You do have some extra healing abilities on things like bow, so that's why wand bow is a pretty popular choice for healing but wand is definitely needed yeah yeah maybe we can talk about it some other time because <laughs> i yeah it doesn't make sense in my brain properly so it doesn't matter if you transfer the plus nine blue when the purple is zero or seven yeah that's what i'm trying to figure out as well i don't know <laughs> what is the best dps combo I'm not sure if there is a best DPS combo, but I think there's a few decent combos that you can go for. Um, like, I think Bow Staff is a decent one. That's the one I'm playing. Um, I think Crossbow Dagger was another one that was good. Um, great Sword with... I don't know which one is best. Great Sword with Dagger or Great Sword with crossbow um, but there's a few different options basically crossbow dagger for max dps the most cookie cutter is dagger at crossbow okay well there you go canon has a google sheet for classes actually well there you go sounds like a great resource to have burrow again or is it a problem when no one else is a rat i feel like in the past when he's chased me like that because i took too long of a route to my flower i was able to burrow again 
but this time it didn't work. Why is that? That's bad, I died early. I'm having a lot of fun with Greatsword and Stab, don't know if it's better, but it's fun. That's good. I think at the end of the day, it's, the most important thing is to have fun, and without any damage meter in the game, no one's gonna know anyways. <laughs> no one's gonna know. And this boss again? Yeah. I need to get my staff. According to Maxwell, they put crossbow dagger as top, S tier. As A tier, they put longbow staff and longbow crossbow. As B tier, they put wand staff, greatsword dagger, staff crossbow, longbow dagger, staff dagger, greatsword crossbow. Um, yeah, so it feels like everything is still fine, basically. Thoughts on PvP? What is you like versus not like? I haven't done too much PvP honestly because my gear isn't really ideal right now. I'm just avoiding it. Avoiding it like the plague. Can I post link? I can permit you. Permit Kibalicious. Thank you. Yeah, I see the link. Oh, he's put in like all kinds of different uh, ways to judge. Large scale GVG, small scale PvP, Arena 3v3, 1v1, PvE and PvE, Dungeons and Farming. Yeah, both staff is actually good at everything except small scale PvP. Alright, well, GG's, good job, guys. Completely carried me. Well, I'm the only one who don't get my drop who someone has the same bug. Um, you don't have drops working right now? Or w what part of it is not working? Did you claim it but you haven't seen it in game? Got another chest. Blue. Blue items. No epics. Yeah, what are the best things to do after you hit 50? Um, if you haven't done contracts, you could take a look at your contracts. Uh, so you wanna, you wanna try and, um keep your contracts not maxed, basically. Um, let's see. Is there a way to see what my contract count is? Maybe you just have to go to a contract vendor. My favorite customer! Leave your stuff, don't they? You there! Just let me know if it's greetings. Yeah, so this contract rights, you don't want that to be capped, so uh, you can go and do contracts. The best place to do the contracts is in uh, Pure Light Tower. Maybe there's other places too, but at Pure Light Tower for sure you get max level contracts, level 50 contracts. So you want to do those. And what you want to do is basically you uh, you pick one contract, contracts. you accept it, and then you refresh. And the reason for the refresh is you want to try to get a contract that gives an epic pouch. And um, if you don't see an epic pouch right now, then pick any reward and accept one of them. Refresh and see if you get an epic one then. If you still don't get an epic one, pick a random one again, accept, refresh, and see if there's an epic one again. And you just keep doing that. That's the best way to try and get as many... Like, the goal of this is to get as many epic pouches as possible. And how to pick from the random ones if there's no epic pouch um there's a couple things that you can think about um one one thing that i've been doing lately is i'll just pick the contract that does the same thing so what i mean with that is uh yeah there's these there's a quest to kill the galu soldiers right and if i don't see an epic one 
I just go for more Galu soldiers or Galu knights or Galu archers. That way, I can complete all the contracts really quickly because they're all basically the same quest. So I just try to like repeat the same quest and make it quick. Um, another thing that people have recommended, I don't know how good or bad that is, um, is to go for the ones with the red crystals. So then when you don't see an epic one, you pick the quest with the red crystal, accept, refresh, and check again. So there, there's, those are the two things that you can think about. Red stones for weapons, yellow for armor, pages, no matter if you're... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you, you can you can think like that, or you can simply just uh, pick copies of the same quest. Like, I sometimes I end up having, like, three quests that is the exact same quest. Kill 14 Galu soldiers, and it's like... I basically do the quest once, and I'm completing three contracts. So that method also kind of works. And another thing, if you are interested in uh, completing your lithograph book... Um, to craft some of these, for example, you need these quality lithograph armor. And what you can do, and this is something you can also do while you're leveling, is to pick the um, the contracts from low level area. Uh, for example, the Starlight Observatory ruins. And here you can find contracts that give you these lithograph uh, papers. And the reason why you would want to do the low level thing for them is because the lithograph papers that you buy for contract points, they cost 50, weapons cost 100, and the amount of contract points you get for completing a contract is 30. So technically, the lithograph book for those low, low the lithograph book, no, the lithograph pages from those low level contracts, in my opinion, is worth more than buying them for the contract points. But to hello contracts and purchase those from their earned coins. I don't know if it's better to be With honest. your skills, you should try more Debatable, I think, to because the they cost oasis. 100. Like the weapon, especially. The weapon lithograph page costs 100. When you complete the max level one, you get 30. That means you, you have to complete more than three max level ones to afford the weapon. And sure, you do get better materials. So maybe there could be an argument there because of the materials that you get. But yeah. Just to think about. What is the contract cap? Um, you can have five contracts active at all times. Unless you're talking about the contract points, then it caps at 60, as you can see rewards. here. Um, but I think when you're leveling, this number can go above 60 to 69, I think. I'm not 100% sure. It can go above 60 uh, to around 69. So, um, but it does still cap sort of so if you are leveling you probably want to pick up some contracts um, as you're leveling up just to make sure you're not you know losing out on some of them how long will be in tier one i don't know recommission is a good guide on what you should be aiming to do after hitting 50 that's actually a very good yes that's a good um good tip you can look at the weekly missions and see what kind of content interests you uh, because the more of these that you fill, I've filled one of them for doing dungeons. The more of these you fill, uh, the more uh, loot options you get when there's a weekly reset. It's kind of like the Great Vault in World of Warcraft if you are familiar with WoW. Then it's a pretty similar system. All right. I am up for one more if you guys are up for one more. I am starting to go crazy though. Like this stuff is never dropping for me. The advice to any of the daily activities during leveling will take me some more days to reach 50. Uh, any of the daily activities? Uh, what do you mean with daily activities? Do you mean... Like, do you mean these? How do you get more contract points? Uh, daily. It just refreshes daily. So I, th I think it's... 10 contract points per day or hey, something. Uh, another thing that you want to think about is your dimensional contract tokens up here in the top right. I'm at 3,420 right now and you get 900 every day. And uh, you, if you want to do something, one thing you could do is make sure you don't get capped. Because if you're capped, then you won't get the 900. Like if you're at 4,500 and there's a new day, then you won't get another 900 because you capped already. And what these are is basically give you loot in dungeons. So if you want to get this extra chance of better loot, then you want to do three dungeons a day. I mean, you don't have to do them in one day. Like, I have 3,400. 
that means I could do 10 dungeons today. It costs 300 per dungeon. I could do 10 dungeons today uh, and get that extra loot. And then I, I'll get a new set of 900 tomorrow. Um, I try to keep it so that if I get 900, I won't be above the cap 4,500. That's how I try to do it. Lightbringer is an early access server, yes. Do you complete the three stages of the weekly mission to get the reward? Uh, no. So, um, the way it works is, now I have this one done, right? This means this question mark will turn into a loot. It might be an epic chest, for example. And if I want it, I can get that epic chest. If I have no other options, then that's the only loot I can get. If I do more dungeons, let's say I get 3,000, then this question mark will turn into another piece of loot, maybe boots. And then at the weekly reset, when it's done, so on Wednesday or... Is it Wednesday? Yeah, on Wednesday, I think. Um, then I'll get the uh, I'll get the option to choose between the chest and the boots. So I choose one. At the end of the day, you only get one piece of loot, so it's up to you how many options you want. I think I had like seven completed last week, and most of them were pretty bad. Uh, and then one of the ones I picked was pretty okay. So yeah, it's good to have multiple options, but you don't have to have what is this three times? You don't have to have twelve options. You can go for like maybe six options. So I think it's a decent number. Have you gotten light bringing? Are you interested in doing alliance for some PvP content? Um, what does that mean? What, to make an alliance? How do you make an alliance? I haven't done much PvP stuff, so I don't know what that means. You see the previous weekly? Oh, you do? Oh, yeah. So I had one, two, three, four, five, six. I had six options, and then I picked this one. Cool, I didn't realize you can see the old one. Yeah, and if you're not happy with any of them, if they're all bad, you can pick the 20 uh, trait unlock stones instead. Yeah, they're all gonna be epics. But they're not necessarily, you know, great epics, but yeah, they're all epics. Okay, should we do one more? So you cannot farm any more dungeons the next day once you- Yeah, once you've used all your points, if you're at zero here, or you don't have enough for 300, which is how much it costs, then you need to wait till next day to do three more. Yeah, we need to find one more I player. can't believe I met another human being on this island. Did you get swept up in the tornado too? I'm the captain of a trading ship. A sudden tornado wrecked my ship and left me adrift. Oh, I don't need to pick it here because we I need to pick it here. The, ship, the reptilians abducted my entire crew. I beg you, Last bot, please fast run. rescue them. You don't see what items each section has a chance to give and the percent for it? Are they different? Wait, you don't get gear from these? These look the same. But the PvP stuff looks different. Yeah, I should maybe start doing the other dungeons. I mean, it's a lot of materials though to craft it. But yeah, I did hear about that. If I do other dungeons, then I can use the soul shards. Um, oh my god, the sound is driving me crazy. Um, first section has less in it, world part. What does it mean that it has less in it? We are inside new dungeon. Is Lopish here? They might have gone AFK. Okay. Uh, 
Uh, the part when I start talking about contracts, could somebody do a timestamp or a clip or something just to point it at something? We could maybe make a short thing about that of uh, that as well. Uh, was Lapish AFK? Do I need to get a new healer? Can you guys hear this? No, right? Okay, I actually have a new YouTube video, thanks to Digadino. Uh, give me a second. Oh, we need to get a new healer. Give me a second. Uh, do, 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 do. Heal not a healer. Healer. But -a -but -a -but -a. Is Max a good website for TL guides or do you recommend another one? I don't know if Canon is still here. Maybe he can give like a professional answer to that. For me, I think Max Roll is fine. I've been using Max Roll and it's been feeling pretty okay, pretty good. My combat power is 2.1. Collecting ears from your enemies. Stoops also said it was fine, yeah. Um, pin. <laughs> Excuse me. Here we go. Intruders must die. There we go. Yeah, we have a new uh, we have a new YouTube video. If you want to check it out, it's about collecting ears from the people that you have killed. Uh oh, whoops. Did we get some healers? Uh, yeah, I guess they're I'll all healers. I'll put some. I'll take someone who has wand first, I guess. Or maybe it doesn't matter. I don't know actually. Let's just pick someone. It doesn't matter. Let's go. And yeah, we can probably do fine even without a healer. Why is I caught like that? Wait, did he? Wait, how? Is it wrong? Did he misspell it? I got can't. Oh no, I didn't notice. I'm so sorry, Navi. I did not notice. I, I was, uh, I was uh, all tabbed. Oh, with alternating caps. Oh, that's perfect. That's perfect. Ears nom nom. Yep, pretty good. Wait, 
how did I say it? Uh, let's double check. Oh, I actually did say it correctly. I just looked at the trait thing. I didn't say it wrong. I actually said it correctly. I said adding a trait to your item. Showcasing adding a trait to your item. I later talk about how I might have said it wrong and called it upgrade, but I didn't say it wrong. Just note to my editor. So just ignore that part. Lol. I said it right from the start. Okay. Ignore that part, lol. <laughs> also freak you too? What? Why would I randomly say that? Chat, what do you think are the best things you can do at level, uh, when you hit level 50? Unbelievable. It is contracts, yeah? Fishing? Not die? PvP? Does PvP get you gear somehow? Uninstall? Shadow Crypt? PvP coins, PvP gear grind. Resume playing WoW. You hit level 50, then go back to WoW. Cook and fish all day, then open a restaurant. Oh, open a restaurant in game. Daily dungeons and contracts. Yeah, I think dailies and dungeons and contracts are probably the best thing. Uh oh. Oh, you clicked the lever, thank you. The ad break is over! Welcome back, everyone! Thank you for supporting the channel by sticking around where there's, when there's an ad playing. Thank you very much. He clicked the lever, it's a ban, that's true, we should ban Kolaris. I don't even know if it was him. <laughs> we can ban him anyways. Oh yeah, I tweeted last night about the Kamala Harris thing. So for, for people who didn't see, basically this happened. Let me show you. And my my tweet randomly kind of like, kind of popped off overnight. So I did this tweet. In case you didn't see it, on Kamala Harris's official Twitch stream, there was uh, speeches from like the rally and World of Warcraft stream here. You helped me and I was like, what's going crew. on? Thank Why is there a World so of Warcraft much. stream on Kamala Harris's official stream? I was really confused. And also, why is it like two thirds as if it's more important <laughs> than the speech? And a lot of people pointed out and I, I, I agree with them. Have you guys seen these games on like TikTok or not games, these videos on TikTok or YouTube shorts and similar where there's someone telling a story and then there's also like half the screen is something completely irrelevant. Someone playing a mini game or like something else. It's like that. It feels like that. But out of all things, they chose World of Warcraft. World of Warcraft, it's like and I saw this in the in their article. They wrote the Harris campaign's plan is to increase its visibility to young men. Who's gonna tell them? Who's gonna tell them? <laughs> yeah, Preheat is the, the streamer who's behind us. He just said I needed to time some tens, that's why. <laughs> 
she knows does she know i don't know it do you think she's looking for men in their 30s because i feel like doing this is going to attract more men in their 30s not men in their 20s oh she knows that women can't play games that's funny so i reacted at the age part right like because it's specified young men and wow is a very boomer game right so i reacted at that you're reacting at the fact that she's looking for men and not women that's actually funny wait why are these why are they only targeting men hello excuse me what about the women <laughs> Is about to because erupt. she's a female running for president? I mean, wouldn't she want to target women too? I think they would have secured a huge female vote. Oh, I see. So they need more men to vote? A female auto vote on her? Oh, I see. But yeah, either way, you know, putting World of Warcraft there, it's kind of funny because it's a game that's also like not really easily understandable either. I feel like even putting CSGO would be better, wouldn't it? Or is it just me? Yes, I made it, but I don't know if it's enough. No. Went straight down, great. CSGO is for kids? No, like CSGO has all ages. All ages. It's got you to talk about it, so it's working. I just feel like WoW is kind of, in the grand scheme of things, it's a pretty dead game. Like in the, in the terms of like the game coverage. The game's coverage is kind of dead compared to most games, so I'm surprised they chose WoW. They, they could have picked like a more on the internet more popular game, you know what I mean? Like CSGO or League of Legends, Minecraft. Maybe Minecraft is a bit too young audience. Fortnite. Like having a Fortnite game going on next to the speech I think would be more eye-catchy than World of Warcraft. <laughs> So I'm, I'm just surprised at the choice of WoW, basically. It's a very... it's not a very popular game to stream. Okay, let's go here. 12 year olds can't vote. Fortnite has a lot of people in their 20s. A lot. Because the game came out and yeah, there was a lot of kids playing, but a lot of them have grown up. So Fortnite has a decent number of a 20 year old audience. Like, a lot of people in their 20s play Fortnite. Oh, Tim Waltz actually plays WoW? I mean, I figured that it's not random. I don't think they randomly reached out to Preheat to stream his gameplay. I, I believe that they already had that relation. So he probably has some political relations and that's why they picked him. So it makes sense if he plays WoW, maybe he's even played WoW with Preheat in the past. It's just, from like a PR point of view, it makes no sense. From their personal point of view, it makes sense. Because they have a connection just together. Just as I was but from a PR point of view, I feel like any other game would have done better. AOC Hassan Among Us. I mean, that made more sense because uh, she actually played it, right? In this case, Kamala is not playing. So it's kind of weird to just have gameplay there. I think if Kamala Harris would sit and actually play Among Us with people, that would be pretty... that would be pretty engaging. But right now it's not engaging. It's literally just like putting a clickbait game next to you and that clickbait is wow, <laughs> you know? 
don't think other games would have done better as a clickbait game. Like subway surfers on those TikToks for Reddit stories. Yeah. But then it needs something more eye-catchy. Not not wow, you know? The views from the stream with WoW has the most views on it since their first stream. Now imagine if they picked an actual popular game. It would be insane. Like, I'm not saying WoW is completely, like, you know, like, no one talks about WoW. Ah! No one knows about WoW. Of course, like, WoW has a following, too. But I think a lot of other games would have caused a lot more views. WoW is very popular. Don't do this to me. It is popular, but in the grand scheme of games, it's not as popular as most other games. WoW is the best game ever. Oh, I agree. I mean, I play WoW. I, I think WoW is... Nice, he's almost dead. Uh, WoW is uh, probably my favorite game ever. If they pick the more popular game, it would backfire even more, though. At the end of the day, it's about, like, causing discussion, right? And at the end of the day, any other game would have caused more discussion. <laughs> discussion is good. People think it's stupid, many people went there to check what's going on, that's why it has many views. Yeah, I mean, the only thing I'm saying is that WoW was a bad choice. They could have picked a better game. That's all I'm saying. And, of course, it's good because it causes discussion. People talk about it. I tweeted about it. Um, now imagine, like, more popular streamers tweeted about it because their game is being talked about, you know? Um, many streamers from other games have much bigger audiences. But why pick WoW? Because he's friends with a WoW player, basically. Well, not friends, but, like, they know each other. They have a connection, so that's why they picked it. I got the longbow! I got the longbow! Holy crap! It's not my it's not my best longbow, but it's better than what I have. Holy crap, I think it's time. Holy crap. Check whispers in game? Or Discord? Or where? In game? How do you uh, see the menu out oh, here? Is it here? Whispers? No? No. Wait, how do you see whispers? That's so annoying. Wait, wait, which one? Uh, wait, is he the one who's still in the group? This is games are so yeah, it's pretty scuffed. It is pretty scuffed. With wild players, you guarantee that they can vote. Playing Fortnite, for example, fourteen-year-old kids would mean nothing. Well, I think a lot of uh, Fortnite players, because Fortnite has uh, existed now for seven years. So I feel like a lot of uh, Fortnite players are in their 20s now. But it is possible they were aiming 30 year olds, of course. Um, but I think, honestly, even CSGO or League of Legends. I think League of Legends would have maybe been the best game, to be honest. Comes to least streamers released to other game audiences. If it's a WoW situation, I don't think it's many people who talk about it outside of WoW.
Oh, I blocked the other guy. I don't know if he was trolling, but he says, streamer luck reported. I just blocked him. <laughs> so I don't end up inviting him again. But I don't know if he was trolling. Do you think he was trolling? I don't know. I blocked this guy. I'll just block both. Who cares? Uh, while I had a lot of viewers more than most games during Race to World First, they might have wanted to target that. Uh, that's true. That's true. But then it could also be seen like because people uh, WoW was uh, popular for that time, but it was mainly the Race to World First streams, if that makes sense. But yeah, maybe it would cause enough buzz for it to come over, especially if the Race to World First streams start talking about it, then that could be huge. You think he was trolling? Do I unblock him? Okay, I'll unblock him, just in case he was trolling. All right, we have two spots. Uh, let me fix my bow first though, or my, yeah, let's see. I have Golem Impaler Longbow. Do we have any of those in the guild distribution? I think we did. Yeah, we have one, is it just one? First Blood Longbow. Wait, is that the one I'm currently using? It is. And it's a different, yeah, this is perfect. I'm gonna take this one. Do, 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 do. If anyone needs specific items, by the way, I've said it many times, uh, let me know. Let me know. And then if we go here, so we have this one. Oh, I need to pick it up first. Mail, collect. Unlock. Okay, health region, cooldown speed and undead bonus damage. I think that's good. Critical hit chance, no. Critical hit chance, no. Undead bonus damage. Let's go for this one. I think that's it, maybe? No. 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 Oh yeah, and we have an epic as well if anyone needs it. I think it's a tank bracer. It's not best in slot, but yeah, it's there. Uh, okay, so we go here, trait, this one here. I wanted to pick it up first. So many things to remember, like, where was this? Oh yeah, where was this? Where was this? Oh, we can, we can talk about this one. Um, so wait, what is this? This is, up, this is upgrading a trait. Okay, so let's, let's showcase how to upgrade an item in Throne of Liberty. We have this first blood longbow that I'm currently using. And if I click that, this page comes up here with a sword and shield as an upgrade to this one. So I currently have undead bonus damage, which is, by the way, not a good stat for me. I'm just showcasing, okay? Um, and this uh, this weapon, it's not the same exact weapon. It's, um, uh, where, how should I word that? For upgrading a trait, 
you don't need the exact same weapon you just need a any weapon with the same trait so in this case we have a sword and shield which we will use to upgrade this trait on this weapon and uh, yeah then you click enchant the sword is destroyed in this process and now my bow has two points into the undead bonus damage and that's it if we transfer your it will also transfer traits no it doesn't and uh, yeah so that's yeah that's the clip for a quick trait upgrade let's put a note for that on the clips channel as well if anyone could do that uh for trait upgrade i didn't even know this in level 50 well there you go thank you you're welcome you can transfer a level from same tier to another um yes you can do that too so are you talking about for example if i want to do um here but why does it only show this i have another blue item don't i oh because I'm, I'm holding it okay so i need to remove it because if you want to transfer stuff you have to unequip it uh so if you go here transfer let's say this new weapon is a new weapon i want to use and it's the same quality as um as the one that i'm currently equipping my first blood longbow what i can do then is transfer my longbow into this one and you get all of the levels the only thing that it costs is nine hundred thousand, which is to be fair maybe quite a bit of currency uh so it's not something that you want to do for every upgrade that you get but that means if it's your first level into any kind of rarity like if it's your first epic or first blue it's okay to pick one that's not your bis and then just wait for your bis after that and make that transfer once um bear in mind your traits do not follow but your your traits in the form of blessings will so keep that in mind uh, if your current weapon has good traits and the new one doesn't um, you will lose those traits but you will get blessings which will then help you to upgrade and add new traits later i have bl blue upgraded to level nine the trait is ash should i farm until i get traits i want it depends what you want to prioritize uh because what Okay, the thing that I have done with mine, I have shitty traits. Um, by the way, I think this little clip could also be... That could be clipped too, if someone wants to clip that. What, what is that? That's about um, transferring... Uh, transferring... XP from a blue to a blue. If we could get a clip for that. Um, yeah, that was a lot of clips. What was the question now? If your new weapon has a bad trait, how do you remove that? So, if you want to remove a trait or replace it, you need the same item. So, for example, what we can do is this one, this head here has, um, this one has ranged evasion, right? And I have two more dusk blood masks. Um, and, does it dusk blood? Um, I have two more masks that are identical to this one. So these are all dusk blood masks. And if you want to remove the trait, let's say you're not happy with magic evasion, then you have to... Wait, why doesn't it work? Ranged evasion. Oh, yeah, yeah. Then you have to click this, trait conversion, and then you get to this menu, and then you can pick one of the ones that you want to replace this one with. In that process, the item does get destroyed. So this is only if you want to specifically remove a trait. If you don't have three traits though, it's kind of pointless. You might as well just keep it. So uh, you just keep your magic evasion and just add another trait. But if you already have three and you're not happy with one of them, that's how you would do it. You, you'd click the trait conversion and then pick the one that you want. You pay trait conversion stones, five of them, done. Amazing as man, this lad, thank you so much. I guess better to trade conversion. Let's let's do a clip for that too. Um, transfer XP from blue to blue, and then the next thing is um, uh, replacing or uh, swapping a trait. Swapping slash replacing. Can you explain leveling up traits? Yes, that's the one that I did before, but I can explain it again. So for example, if you want to level up a trait, uh, you need to find uh, an item. Um, 
or you need to have two items with the same traits and then the idea is that you take the trait from a later item to the first item that's what i did with my bow actually when i upgraded the undead bonus damage but let's do it again uh so let's say we pick uh, this one dust blood mask dust blood why do i keep saying dust blood uh we don't need to clip up this one because i've already explained it with a with a bow but this is just for live purposes um so if you want if i want to upgrade my ranged evasion i can't wait i thought i had two ranged evasions Magic evasion, ranged evasion, cooldown speed. Oh, they're all different. Never mind. Uh, I need to pick something where I have melee evasion. Melee, melee evasion? Magic evasion. Um, mana region. Oh, they're all different. Critical hit chance, maybe? No. Range endurance, health regen. I actually don't have. Oh, I do here. It's it's a green one though, so bear that in mind. Um, here. So I want to upgrade magic evasion, right? So I have my dusk dusk blood gloves, and I have magic evasion on it. I have a green item in my inventory that also has magic invasion. So the idea is that you need to have, uh, you don't have to have the exact item, but you need to have the exact trait from another armor piece. So I think you could also get, take it from like gloves and stuff like that. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that's how it works. Uh, so for example, uh, uh, or not gloves, like boots or chest or whatever. Um, so you need the same trait and then you put it here and you click enchant. Because this is green, this is not a hundred percent chance. So that's important to note. So in this case, the chance for this to succeed is 10%. Oh, this can be good to showcase green upgrades. Actually. Uh, if this was blue, and you trade convert, it'll be 100% done. So if you have blue gloves, or blue boots, or blue chest, anything blue, with magic evasion, the item will get destroyed, and the gloves will get them. When it's green, it's a little bit more complicated. So, uh, yeah, let's talk about that, but let's introduce that in a better way. So, um, yeah, so let's showcase um, upgrading your blue item or um, let's showcase upgrading your trait with an item of a lesser rarity. So, for example, we have these gloves. Where are they? Oh, wrong, wrong menu. Yeah, here. Okay, well, let's, let's do it again. Let's do it again. Let's showcase upgrading a trait with an item of a lesser rarity. So we have our we have our blue gloves here, our dusk blood gloves, and uh, you can see here on the right side that I have an item that can be used for upgrading purposes, which are green. So yeah, as you can see, it's magic evasion. This one also has magic evasion, and we're gonna use this item to try and upgrade this one. Because it's green, the chance to success is not 100%, because normally if it's a blue, the magic evasion will go from tier 1 to tier 2, done. In this case, it's a chance for success, and that chance is 10%. I think I just then showcase it, actually, because, um, yeah. And this is where the concept of blessings comes into play. I currently have zero because I haven't done this before to this item, but let me show you what happens. You click this item, enchant, it's a 10% chance to succeed, okay? Let's see how lucky we are. What? Oh, no, no, no. We were not- wait, why did it say successful? The text said successful, but it wasn't. Okay, ignore that. Cut that part. Cut that part in the edited video. Uh, I read it wrong, I guess. It said successful. I thought we were, we were lucky. We weren't. Okay, so in this case, <laughs> successfully failed, yeah. Um, ignore what I said there. Cut that part, editor. Don't make me sound shocked. It's not shocking. We failed successfully anyways. So in this case, the... Um, so in this case, the upgrade did not go through. The glove still has tier one of magic evasion, but now we have eight blessing. And what that means... Oh, I can't showcase by clicking another item. Uh, but what that means is now if we had another item... Oh, that sucks that I don't have another one. You successfully got the blessing. It's bad wording. Oh, okay. Yeah, I noticed sometimes the translation stuff is a bit funky. 
Um, it makes sense, but I was surprised because I haven't done this yet. <laughs> I haven't done it a lot, at least. I, I, I don't know the process exactly. Um, time to farm to make a guy. Yeah, for now, I'm just, I, I just want to pump out some shorts with like bits and pieces of it. And then if I have time, I'd like to sit down and actually make a guide video. Um, but I'm, I'm really late to this, unfortunately. I wish I was uh, doing this like um, a week ago, but it is what it is. Uh, I'll quickly say some words on this just to complete this part of the shorts, at least. Uh, so what I'll say is... Um, uh, so in this case, our trait was not upgraded. It's still tier 1 magic evasion, but we now got 8 blessing. And what 8 blessing means, which I can't showcase here unfortunately because I don't have another green item, is that instead of a 10% success chance for upgrading the item, it'll be... 10% uh, plus uh, a percentage that the blessings give you. So this means the more green items that you feed into this and you're unlucky, uh, the blessing will ramp up and eventually become a 100% chance to succeed. So, um, and, um, and you can decide whether you want to use the blessing or not for each transaction. So for example, if I click the next item, let's say uh, I have a blessing that gives me a total of 50% chance to succeed. Maybe I'm happy with that 50 and I just go for it. Could be bad because you will lose the blessings if it doesn't succeed. I would normally just recommend you to wait until it's 100 um, and then use the blessings to then uh, get a successful upgrade. There, okay, short is done. <laughs> Let's do that one too. Um, so that this, is, this was for upgrading um, a trait using lesser rarity. Yeah, if we can have a clip or timestamp for that as well for Digadino to take care of. So it works kind of like a pity system. Yeah, exactly. Oh, l yeah, let me say that as last words. So it kind of works as a, so it kind of works as a, so it kind of works like a pity system in case you're really unlucky. Yeah. Um. There we go. Impromptu. Impromptu stuff. Uh, this kind of stuff is more easy to do once you have more items as well. Okay. All right. That's done. Uh, let's see. Do I go for a different dungeon this time? Oh yeah, I need to up. I need to fix my weapon. I think it's time to upgrade it into an epic. I think I've done enough traits into it. How is your eye? Not good, unfortunately. I'm thinking of maybe doing one more dungeon and then uh, maybe I need to stop after that. Everything's normal, Are you still sad in the eye? Yeah, I'm still sad in the eye. Hello, Jay. Should I do all the level 50 dungeons or just the one with the right equipment and the drops? Yeah, that's basically the question. I've been spamming the same dungeon, but it seems like it might be more worth to do a variety of the dungeons. But yeah, you see here, this takes me exactly from zero to six. But then some people are saying that you should level the epic to like six first and then put the weapon in it. I don't know. Uh, also, you can see here, um, because I have some traits on this weapon, when I transfer this into this, this weapon also gets the blessings. I've heard that and the opposite. Use less tokens to level to 6 than from 6.
Okay, let's see. If I level this one a little bit, let's say I level this one, where is it? Let's say I level this one a bit. Let's do one level. Okay, we have exactly one level. We've got a special, perfect. That's perfect way to, sh to like test the level. So if we're here, takes me to six and eight percent like I, I it doesn't take me to seven so it doesn't matter It lost percentage, it was 600% before. Are you saying I'm gaining less now? 500, did this number say 600? Yeah, Canon did say 7.3, but I'm just trying to understand why, because I don't get it. So 7.3 will take you to 9, is the idea. It's exponential, it costs more XP the higher level. Yeah, but you also get less, right? Like, we got 8% on 6 instead of 100% of 1, right? So isn't it the same? It feels like it's the same. More upgrade zone efficient? I just don't see how. Try one more upgrade. I think about leveling to 100 MP it takes full expansion more XP. I, I get that, but you also get less from the transfer. Like the transfer does not give you six levels, no matter how which levels it is. So then it feels like it's the same. It doesn't matter when you do it. You have the same XP total from trying to use XR7 in the first six levels. Yeah, and, and that's why I only got 8% of level six now. I Like, I, I don't go to seven. Because I leveled it to one, and it doesn't take me to seven, magically. It takes me to six and 8%, so doesn't that mean it's the same? Yeah, I saw the longbow staff thing say to not upgrade a specific chest piece, but I think it ignore it, it doesn't matter. Because you can just transfer the XP to a different chest if you change it. It's the same amount of flat XP, not number of levels. In that case, it shouldn't matter at what point you use it, right? The question is, do those 8% level 6 take more than one token? That depends on RNG, I guess. Same with any level, no? Yeah, we can do one more level. Um, like, we use three tokens now for one level. And we got... Another... What is that? Like, another... 16%? Aren't you level zero and level seven is a big difference though? Yeah, it, it is, but it's not like we're at seven now. We're still at six. Like we're still at six. Like we didn't skip six, we're still at six. Yeah, honestly, I have no idea. I don't know why it went up by 16% instead of eight <laughs> as well.
How much growth stone? I mean, it costs three growth stones now. Oh, that, that's that's probably why. Level two is worth more than level one because it probably costs two growth stones. So it's double. So we got 8% on the, on the first one. Then we get... Um... 16% uh, because it's two growth stones. Like that. So that's why the percentage changed. But I feel like it keeps this in consideration when you transfer the XP in the first place. So I, I, I don't see why you should level it first, to be honest. Now we're at 50%. In short, it doesn't matter when you transfer, as long as you don't overcap with the transfer. Okay, I'll just I'll just do it anyways because Canon did say that today. So let's go for level seven. I think he said uh, seven and one third. Uh, I think if I go more, it might be too much now. So maybe I just go with 7. I'll be at 71%. Or we do this. Level once. But it might go above. We don't want to go above, right? I think that would be... Or what do you think? Will we keep it at 7? Yeah, honestly, Navi, I, I don't know. I, I, right now, I'm actually just going with the fact that Canon said so today. I'm getting a little bit of mixed information everywhere. Tran yeah, we go transfer now. I agree. I'm glad we agree unanimously on one thing. <laughs> Why would you not do it now? Um, it costs eight now, as opposed to the nine it will cost when you don't do it. Uh, it costs eight now. Maybe, actually. Maybe that's true. Because if we do it later, it'll cost more than eight, right? We are assuming one will be enough to get to 30%. So we should do it now then, right? I like how we all are now unanimously changing our minds. It costs double if you do it after. Not double, but it'll cost nine, I guess. Oh god. Unless you're unlucky. Okay, what is this then? 84%. Do we think we'll get 16% in one go? Do you think we'll get 14% here? What's the minimum you can get? What is common? How much percent do you get? It's 15 to 16. We'll get it. Yeah, now we get the big one. Okay. All right. That's a shame. Why couldn't we get that first? But yeah. So now we're gonna now we're gonna transfer my bow into this one. The blessings will transfer, and my bow is destroyed in the process. Now this bow is actually not my bis, but it's okay. Because if I get my bis bow, I can transfer this XP one to one with my new bow. So that's the nice thing with this. What do blessings do? Blessings uh, are a way to increase the chance to um, upgrade your traits, basically. 
Oh, this is Bist for PvP? I actually really like it because it has long range. I'm actually not sure if I'm even happy with the... My, my current Bist bow is very short range. And I, I don't think I like it. I might just stick with this. We'll see it. I just want to be Bist, either this or Carnix. Yeah, I think Carnix is mostly listed as the Bist. But I think I might go for this instead because I like long range. And especially with my... Because I have a passive too. I need to equip it first. I have a passive that increases my damage with more range. Each one meter of distance away from the target increases your magic, melee, and range critical hit chance by 20. So I think it's, um... I think it's pretty good. For for bossing, for PvP bossing. For, for general, not PvP, for PvE bossing. For PvE farming, I think Carnix is better to be honest because when I'm farming, like solo especially, I'm tanking everything, so I don't really have that distance away from the targets. Which is a good point, actually, because that means for my for my PvE build, I should probably skip this sniper sense and pick something else. But for my PvE bossing, I think it's good, and I think I should use my current weapon that I just got. If I an issue for you, uh, I hope you have the sapphire dimensional band, easy to get. I, I don't think I have that. What is that? How do I get it? You rarely farm alone, though. Uh, I mean, I kind of do. Like, my contracts and stuff like that. And even when we do, like, dungeons. Uh, not dungeons, like, public dungeons. Um, I think I am. I tend to be in melee because I tend to pull mobs from far away. I keep the aggro until we stack the mob and, you know, things like that. The instances where you farm are grouped mostly on for current doesn't matter if you're wearing this. Yeah, I mean, that's true. I'm just saying that for PvE farming, I could go with the Carnix, but for PvE bossing, like dungeons and raids, I think I do prefer the long range one. Okay, nice. Well, that's interesting. My bow became epic before my staff did. That is funny. How you use numpad with your left hand? Oh, my numpad binds is basically my mouse binds. It, it means that I've bound it to my mouse. So it means I'm pressing it with my thumb. Corny helps you hit the 50 strength breakpoint easily. Oh, maybe that's why they say Carnix. Does it give a lot of strength? Where was Karnix from? That's Abyss? Yeah. Oh, I see. It gives a lot of strength. Yeah. I see. This one gives a lot of dexterity. I'm one point off of... I should probably... I don't know, decrease the strength or something? If it's possible. Oops. No, I'm actually always gonna be one off. That's awkward. Hit chance or max mana? Let's go for hit chance. No Carnix bow and Thuggler staff? What is Thuggler staff? The image from Bite Frog? <laughs> I want you for party time. That is so funny, actually. <laughs> OG recruitment. That's great. I like that image. I like that image. Down, 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 down. It's so well made. Yeah, I like it. Once you use your, your best bracelet too. Yeah. Well, I was thinking of maybe waiting until I can upgrade my bracelets a bit with the traits so I can transfer the blessings. What do you think? Or is it... Do we skip that? 
Oh, I haven't leveled up your skills. Oh, no, I have. Um, like, they're all blue, if you can... Well, most of them are blue. All the ones I'm using are blue, except this one, I guess. Maybe i upgrade this one. All my abilities I'm using are blue. Okay, one more level. Oh, one more. Yeah, so how do you get the Sapphire Dimensional Ring? Yeah, all my abilities are blue, and then I have this one, which is epic, and th this one is automatically epic. This one I upgraded to epic because it's such a good... It's it's just so strong, honestly. Um, if we're lucky, we might get a level for this. Decent. Yes, very good. Huge. Okay, awesome. Uh, that was really lucky. <laughs> so it's level four now. You can skill transfer as well. Okay, I don't need to. I think I'm fine. Um, I wanted to upgrade um, this one because it's almost... But I'm not really getting blue growth books. I'm sorry, new to game didn't realize that is a color system. Oh yeah, no worries. Yeah, there's a color system. Longbow mastery. Yeah, well the thing is I noticed um, since I main hand my staff, my longbow staff, my longbow um, stuff actually doesn't matter. Like it's uh, it's not active when I'm not maining it, when I'm not main handing it. So it doesn't do anything. There's all a couple purple. I could do that. You pull it out and you use your bow abilities. No, it doesn't work that way. Or, wait, because, so, right now I'm using my staff, right? I have 9,400 mana. When I switch to bow, I'm oh, sorry, 9,400 is with the bow. When I change it to my staff, I have less mana. So when I use my bow skills, I don't magically get more mana. So what does that mean? Because my lo my bow gives max mana as a bonus. But I don't get any max mana when I'm using bow abilities. You, adventurer. Take a look at my way. Are you? Check out this new equipment. Check out this new equipment. Because that would mean... Okay, I'm, I'm using my bow now. When I'm using my inner piece... Huh? I should I should lose mana because it would switch to my staff, but it doesn't. You adventure. Take a look. I, I mean, I don't know. I don't know to be honest. I, I, I'm I'm a bit of a question mark myself about it. Maybe it does, but the mana definitely isn't. So any mana mastery skills are completely useless. That mana is always on? No, it's not, because it's changing when I swap weapons. It's 9.1k when I use staff. It's 9.4k when I use bow. Because of mastery difference. I had the staff in hand when casting it. Uh, did I? I'll do it again if I made a mistake. No, I didn't. This is not a staff, this is a bow. 9.4k mana, using bow, I'll use a staff ability, my mana does not change during this cast. So my mastery is not randomly activated. At least not all of them, I mean unless you want to say that some masteries are activated and others are not, then sure, but definitely not all of them. It brings it out? No it definitely doesn't. My weapon didn't change. Wait, are you, do you mean like animation of it? Like, sure, she's like pulling the staff to do the ability, sure, but I'm not actually swapping weapon. Mastery is not changing. As far as I can see and understand. Alright, let's do this again. Guys, this is my first chance to try 
and get a fishing rod. Are you ready? Are you ready? Sorry guys, quick essaying. Okay, let's take a look. Uh, but yeah, this is my first attempt at getting the pouch, which has the Kraken fishing rod. It'll be the first time that I have a chance to win it. Surely I'll get it on my first try, right? There's two RNG checks here. One is to actually get the pouch, and second is to actually loot it from the pouch. You hurt your eye? It's hurt, yes. I, I, I don't know how it happened, but it's hurt. it still hurts today. Now it's kind of calmed down. It's been it's been up and down. Honestly, I should probably stick to a very short stream. How long have we been streaming today? Three hours. Yeah, I should probably end soon for just like a quick one to uh, to rest my eyes because this is not good. <laughs> because I want to stream properly on the weekend, so today should technically be an off day. I was just hoping that in an after an hour or two of being awake, it would go away, but it hasn't gone away. So yeah. But yeah, let's get the fishing rod. No pouch. Let's um, begin expedition again and check it in 10 minutes. No, one hour. We go again. Uh, how am I supposed to know how to upgrade my gear if you get off? Unfortunately, I can't tell you even. Oh, yeah, well, check out my video. Um, but hopefully, I'll have some more shorts coming up. Uh, so if you guys want to follow me on YouTube, I have one. Wait, that's not my YouTube channel. That's my Diablo video. One sec. You can check out the Diablo video too, of course. It's a funny video. Yeah, I only have this video. I have this throne and liberty video. And then I have I have one more throne and liberty video. Where is it? Uh Sorodoma Island. Yeah, this is a funny one. Uh I have this throne and liberty video. And I'll be posting a few more. We did a bunch of clips today. Hopefully we can turn them into videos. What did I do to you? I don't miss when you talked about Take care of your eyes. They're very important. Thank you. Um, so basically, I have this thing where sometimes when I wake up, it happens like once a month. It's not very often. But once a month, once every two months, um, I wake up and I get this intense pain suddenly. And um, it basically feels like there's something on my eyelid. And every time that thing touches my eye... It's, it feels like it's scratching it. Uh, so it's making my eye red. It's also turned a bit, a little bit swollen. And also it hurts. I can show you, like, yeah, in terms of swollen, you can see here. Jesus. Um, like, for example, if I do this. Like, I'm looking up right now. And this eye is, like, fully up. And this one has, like, an eye, like a thick eye, eyelid. You see that? It's, uh, so it's, it's slightly more swollen, it's slightly more lazy. Do you see that? It's a little bit lower than this eye. Uh, so it's, uh, yeah. And it's also like constantly watery. It's also red. Uh, so I should probably get off and not sit in front of the monitor, to be honest. 
Feels like an eyelash scratching. Yeah, it feels like an eyelash scratching, basically. When it first happened, I used to think it's an eyelash that's getting stuck somehow. somehow. Um, but then I realized it's not. And apparently there's... Uh, I should have... Damn it, we're getting ads now. Um, I'll uh, not wrap things here then. <laughs> Hope you feel better. Thank you. Thank you. Usually happens when bacteria gets in the eye. Maybe you rub your eyes when you sleep or so. I don't know. It just happens so regularly. It's weird. Resident, thank you so much for subbing. I really appreciate it. Maybe makeup reaction? I don't think it's makeup because I do make sure to always wash it before I sleep. But I'm not sure. I don't wear contacts, no. One of the interesting, yeah, t 10 different diagnoses on Twitch. I haven't been diagnosed with anything because I haven't talked to a doctor about it. Uh, but there is that one, uh, what is it called? Retinal cornea erosion thing. Th that one sounds pretty interesting and potentially uh, my issue. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it doesn't feel like a sty because I can't feel it. I've had styes as well before. And with styes, I can normally feel it. It's like a pimple, kind of. But this one, there's nothing to feel. So I don't know. It's a bit of a, a, bit of a question mark. A little bit of a question mark. Community is back. Welcome back, guys. Sorry for the ads. It's a bad timing. I should have snoozed that. Ad break is over. Yeah, release the plebs. <laughs> but yeah, it's, so it's a bit annoying. Meaning I should probably... Probably rest my eyes. So that's why I'll have a very short stream today. We can maybe do one more thing. What should we do today? What should be the final thing that we do? I think we've kept up with our dementia contracts pretty well. We could still do one more dungeon. Um... I don't think we need to do abyssal contract tokens yet. Um, what else? Is he actually not going to look at his screen? Uh, today you mean? Um, I, I think I'm going to avoid screen. And if I do use screen to at least not sit with bright lights in my face. I think should help a little bit maybe. I'm not sure to be honest. Defensive masteries only work when you have the weapon equipped. Offensive ones work whenever you use the weapon ability. You can tell by the icon in the mastery tree. Wait, that's interesting. Um, the icon in the mastery tree? What kind of icon? Or, or do you mean these? Like, this icon? You think, you think they show up? Mid-combat? Or... Sunglasses. Duolingo to finish stream. Do PK. What is that? Yes, otherwise there would be no point in leveling mastering your offhand. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. It feels like it's pointless. Um, so if I attack something random with a bow skill. Well, I should not be using this randomly. I should only use that if I'm... Guild dungeons. I don't know if I saw anything. Did you see anything? What did you see? Yeah, I don't know if I see anything. And how, how am I supposed to notice movement speed? So while I'm casting that, I'm supposed to be a bit faster? Oh wait, what did you say? You said... Defenses only work when you have weapon equipped. D offensive work when you use the weapon ability. You can tell by the icon on the mastery tree. 
Yeah, I don't know. I don't see that. So I think movement speed... So you're saying movement speed, max mana, mana region, and range hit chance won't work. But these will work? How are you coming to that conclusion? The hit chance will because it has a sword. How do you know that? It's a hit chance, so it's difficult to, to test. Oh, I forgot to do my nighttime farming. I have some uh, gray items I need for that I can only get at nighttime. I've heard the Archeum Legion has been spotted in the vis. No, it doesn't work. You're saying sword and shield are always active, gear is only active when the weapon is equipped? Yeah, I don't know. The only thing I can say for sure is that my mana changes when I swap weapon. And while I'm using abilities, the mana does not change. That's the only thing I can tell. So at least the mana bonus does not work if it's your offhand. Uh, the other stuff is a little bit harder to tell because it's things like hit chance, you know. Hit chance is really random. So it's hard. It's hard to figure out. How's my codex looking? Faunus Basin. Must complete, okay. Well, I've never- I haven't done these. I should do some zone quests here next time, maybe. In my experience, main hand bones is always apply, offhand does not. Yeah, I'm trying to get, like, a final word on that to, to know exactly how it works, but I'm not sure. I'm not exactly sure. Orc Brawler. Wait, was it up here? Who could I ask for help? I know that every hub has a contra code, has a magic hub, have a merchant. I agree. I agree. I don't know why it doesn't. If it has a manager, I think you should have the merchants too. We the unit, the oh, there's one at the teleport. During the cooking quest, can you tell me what is the best way to get salt? Uh, missions. These Amitoi expeditions, some of them give salt. Uh, you should just always send your Amitoi to get salt. Which means it takes a bit of time. It's a bit of RNG. You're not guaranteed to get it every time, but... If you keep doing it every hour, you will eventually have a lot of salt. We got the skin. The skin is from the ultimate package, so it's a, it's a it's a skin uh, for real money. Unfortunately, you can't buy it anymore though. I'm trying to get some more giveaway keys for that, so we can do more giveaways and more people have it. I'm a bit confused about the pal synergy. Are those buffs applied to me or the expeditions? Uh, I think expeditions, if I've understood it correctly. High level Amitoi missions give more salt after a few days you'll be rolling in it. Yeah, yeah. The, um, and also, uh, if you pick, it tells you pretty easily, but you can see the Amitoi the that gives a blue arrow up means that they're likely to get more materials or like higher chance to get it. So you want to pick those basically. How many hours I should send? Uh, I would send it on one hour. I think one hour gives the most uh, materials. Uh, I send it for eight hours when, um, if I'm going to sleep, like if I'm not gonna log in for the rest of the day. Otherwise, I think the most efficient is doing one hour. Pal stat bonus or amount bonus are applied to the player, pretty sure. Oh. Wait, sorry, you don't mean expedition related. You mean like, um, like, um, 
but I don't see any bonuses here. In the morph list, uh, yeah, so there's there's some bonuses that you see here. This would be applied... No, not those. Growth points don't matter. It's the... Uh... Is it the glides that have it? Uh, there's a swimming one. Here. Effects. This one applies to you when using this morph. Uh, with Amitoys, I'm not 100% sure. So which bonuses are you talking about with every toys? Because I haven't seen any. Growth points? Growth points doesn't matter. The lithograph book at the top? Oh, oh yeah, this would be, yeah, I think this is for you. For collecting many Emmy toys, then you get the bonuses. I think that would make sense, yes. So you get these bonuses for collecting more Emmy toys, I'm pretty sure. Uh, growth points is basically, um, it just means, um, uh, growth points doesn't matter in terms of when you're using your morph. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but I think uh, it just means how much you get for uh, your level up, basically. Here. So, some mounts, like the Radiant Wolf is worth 3 growth points. This one is worth 15. So I think what this means is getting the Shadow Skull will level you up more. Like, some mounts are more worth for whatever reason. Um, they don't, doesn't mean anything in terms of when you use them. Using the Shadow Skull or using the Radiant Wolf, no difference. Um, but when you got your Shadow Skull, you leveled up more than when you got the other mounts or the other morphs. And leveling up, we're now level three, basically means the bigger mount collection you have, um, the higher level you get here, the more bonuses you get. So there's a little bit to a, it's basically a, uh, a reward system for collecting more mounts. Their mount, yeah, there's mount level, but it doesn't really affect the mounts themselves. It's more like the more mounts you have, the higher your mount level will be, the more bonuses you get here. Nope. Wait, is this an elite? I'm in the wrong spec, so I'm not healing anything either. This is bad. Okay. No! enough okay in 10 seconds I can change spec and that is a good explanation of how they work awesome okay so I got it right I wasn't 100% sure is this your favorite game of all time I haven't played it all my time I think that would still be wow because that's the game that I have you know played the most ever <laughs> How much money I put into this game? Uh, zero. But I did get a code for ultimate edition of the game. So technically that is worth money. But apart from that, I, I'm not spending money on the game. Uh, it's for power. I might spend it for cosmetic reasons. Maybe I'll get the battle pass. Um, I think battle pass is actually pretty worth. Uh, but I will not be buying... I will not be putting Lucent into my account in order to buy power. Because for me, that makes it less fun. Okay, now we have some heals. My heals are actually pretty good. Look at that. What the hell? Not bad, not bad. So that's how I'm intending to play the game, basically. I want it to be a relatively free-to-play playthrough, but um, I might be spending uh, money on Battle Pass and Cosmetics. That's what you can expect from my stream.
Yeah, you can sell stuff on the auction house for the real money currency, uh, but it's not easy. If you're lucky, I guess it's easy, but I have gotten a lot of epics and they're all really trash and not worth anything on the auction house, sadly. Um, but yes, it is possible. A decent epics more than I use them. Like dissolve them, you mean? Yeah, I think usually dissolve is like the main play. Because <laughs> many epics are just not worth much on the auction house. And one more thing over there. This guy. Another shaman there. He got the tag, but doesn't matter. It'll count for us too. Extract and sell the traits. Uh, only if the trait is worth it. Some traits are worth like 50 lucent. In that case, it's better to keep your trait extraction, extraction stones. So it really just depends. If you get one that's like worth 500 or even more, sure, then do it. But if it's worth like 50, then you don't want to do it. And I have been really unlucky. Every item I've gotten has been complete trash. Not worth extracting. What's your opinion of the new WoW expansion? I think the new expansion is great. I love Warbands. It's been the greatest addition to the game since... I don't know, maybe Auction House revamp? Maybe... I don't know. It's 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 really good, I think. I'll enjoy the stream, but are the drops frozen or something? They shouldn't be frozen. Um... If you've recently in the past five minutes opened multiple throne streams, that can sometimes freeze it. So I'd recommend maybe closing the browser and then opening one stream and stick to that one stream. That's the only thing I can think of. It should be working. Yeah, sometimes opening multiple streams during drops can bug it out and just freeze it. Because the game is, or like Twitch is confused which stream it's gonna grab the drops from. <laughs> It's been three days? Wait, so what's the problem exactly? Like your progress has stopped at a certain percentage or? You got a helmet from World Boss trait worth 1,500. Yeah, that's lucky. That's really good. That's awesome. Stuck at 98%. Yeah, that's really strange. Um, try to stick to one stream and um, yeah, I don't know. That's weird. It, it should work. Something up there. You can adjust the contrast level in game. Finally, the game doesn't look like it's foggy all the time. Oh, really? Do you consider this foggy? I feel like it looks fine. I feel like it looks fine. Fine. Where is it? it? Was here somewhere? Oh, it's. It's here? Oh, I, I don't see anything. Is it supposed to spawn something? Yeah, I like uh, working on the Codex book and just uh, fully exploring everything, basically. It feels nice to, like, complete zones, essentially. So I'm doing the zone quest for Phonus Basin right now. Doesn't seem like there's something here, though. Time bit of haze and distance? Yeah, well, I think that's normal. I think I like it. Um. Oh, it's probably the spawn. Oh, yeah. Okay. Get some healing. Yeah, he has a lot of health.
This pick has so much AoE damage, it's so nice. And this one also, it hits for like 6,000. 6,800. It's really good. Yeah, this is what I mean with open world stuff. I always end up in melee. So maybe for my my open world farming spec, I should change to uh, I should change my sniping passive to something else. Um. Okay, that was good. Gather marine ore or bloomed wild herbs when it's raining. Oh, it has to rain. There was a raining schedule, right? I need to keep that in mind. I need to find. I need to come here when it's raining. What does food do to you? Gain health? Uh, food has different types of buffs. If you're leveling, I actually really recommend getting the XP food. So, uh, for example, I have a few food options here. Uh, this one gives me evasion and endurance for 30 minutes. Uh, this one gives me boss hit chance, boss critical hit chance. Uh, same there. This one gives me health recovery for 18 seconds. Um, boss hit chance. Uh, there is one that gives max health and health regen. Uh, there's a cooking mastery one, so right before you're cooking, you want to use this. Um, there's XP bonus, which is completely useless for me, uh, but if you're leveling, that's good. Um, and then, I don't have it here, but yet yeah, there's, um, there's a fishing one as well. And, um, oh, Solent. Yeah, Solent bonus as well. 50% Solent bonus, if you know you're going to farm a lot. We get the XP food. Um, there's no recipes that you have to collect. Just keep cooking if you don't have a specific recipe that you want, and it should unlock very soon. I'm excited to get starting soon. Yeah, this food for Abyssal Contract token efficiency too. Cool. Yeah, I'm not surprised. I feel like there's food for everything. I haven't uh, crafted everything. Mm. This place has cooking, for example. One sec. Okay. I just confronted a streamer who was self in your chat. It was hilarious. You confronted a stream. Oh, okay. That's okay. I mean, I just um, we just ban people. I do, to be honest. Or it may depend. Sometimes the warning can be good, or a timeout. I think a lot of times you can just ignore them. I think that works too. I'm not, I'm not promoting, was dropping and saying hi. Okay, good for you. Uh, there are two dishes of food going for 150 Lucent on my server, but how do you sell food? I can't put mine on the auction house. I think it might be like a chance to put it on there. Let me take a look. Oh, actually I do like this. So if I go auction house, uh, sell. Yeah, so I only have one item that can be sold on the auction. I showed like 10 different foods, right? One of them can be put on the auction house. And I think it's like a chance to proc. Um, and the way that you can see if you have the proc or not on your item is when you left click it, uh, you look here. If this one is yellow, that means you can sell it. If it's not yellow, that means you can't. You can move from the guild for someone of higher level. If you haven't been kicked, you're fine. Don't worry about it. Only great success craft can be sold. Yeah, so not all of them can be sold, basically. We have lots of wares. Take a and look. And then I wanted to show how the cooking looks like. Real quick here. So cooking is here. My level is six, and you can you can cook uh, potions as well. It's not really cook, but yeah, you can cook potions as well. They're pretty strong, like twenty percent damage for fifteen to twenty uh, seconds. It's like a damage pot in WoW. Uh, they're pretty powerful. And then here you see all your different uh, recipes. And you can go down to see other ones. Like this one is defense buff. 
Uh, this one's max mana mana regen, all hit chance. These are uh, dark because I... Um, oh, no, these are because insufficient materials. I want to show if it's locked here. Uh, here's an example of something, a pattern that I don't have, uh, but you can see that you unlock it at level 7. So if you're interested in... Uh, like checking out a specific recipe, like maybe you want the XP one, for example, that's the castler, the castor salad. Uh, if you don't have it unlocked now, what you can do is scroll down and see what level it, it unlocks, because I don't remember what level it is, but it's somewhere, it's, it's very early, but maybe you don't have it straight away. Maybe it's like level three or something, maybe level two, I'm not sure. 